we'll settle down the first two on if that's okay. You know, bearing in mind the amount of players that were missing and the fact you've only had a few days to work with the players, was that as, almost as good a, a start to your Liverpool career as you could have hoped for? Okay. I'm satisfied with the start. So I think <laughs> this is not the worst sign because I'm, I have not the, the biggest expectations for the game because I knew we only had three days. Tottenham are very, very strong and really good tuned team. So I know, yeah, it could be difficult, but for this, I'm really I'm satisfied because the start was brilliant. We came in, I think we surprised them a little bit. Uh, we don't want to go on the first ball, we want to go on the second ball and the second ball then we were there, good timing, very good. Um, Devok um, and Phil and Adam, perfect and the three, three behind. Ah, well, cool positions for them I think and so that is well. And then the problem of the game, <laughs> when we had the ball, we were not cool enough. We didn't use our skills, we didn't use our skills. We, um, a little bit too n hectic, yeah, a little bit too eager. eager, maybe, I'm not sure, but <laughs> <laughs> nervous, something like this. Um, and uh, now we didn't see the right option this moment, but it's normal. When you start like this, you got the ball from this space and you should open your view and then you can play this side because Tottenham is a, a zone defending team. Ball. Um, defending team, so we didn't use these situations, but we had our moments. Very good corner with with the post. Uh, some other situations where we could have been a little bit better, but I'm. For today, it's really okay. After three days, four three days, it was brilliant. Now we have now we have our own game. Now we have our own experience together, and now we can go on working. You can trust that he's good with words. <laughs> Yeah. Um, no, no Daniel Sturridge. That's his <laughs> No Daniel Sturridge today. Um, <laughs> what was wrong with Sturridge, and, and how long is he going to be out for? Um, okay, we had a bad week with injuries this this week, and um, best news is it's not a serious thing with Daniel. But I'm sorry, but in a week like this with two is ACL. Um, you know, you cannot go risk. And um, Daniel had a little bit one on one situation with uh, John Ibe in training, we didn't see, I didn't see it, but after this a little pain in the muscle stabilizing the knee, I'm not uh, the, the biggest um, specialist for this, um, but it's not, we, we made, we made um, diagnostic, we made, we screened him only to be sure, so you can see a little bit, it's a little bit of swelling, but it's nothing really serious, so we, we have to see. Uh, and my, I hope he's on Thursday ready to play, but I don't know. Do you need Do you need Daniel back? Do you need your strikers back? Because obviously you've been very unlucky losing Danny Ings, haven't you? Yeah, I would say uh, these strikers. When I when I came here, when I thought about Liverpool, I thought, okay, four strikers, this quality, good. But now I have one. <laughs> yeah, um, and that's. And that's not the best situation this one, but, but for, uh, it's, uh, I, I like uh, Devok, okay, he can, we have young Sinclair was on the bench, he was close um, to come in, and so I don't think about players I don't, I don't have, because it don't, doesn't make sense, you know, I think we are not concentrated in the players we work with, yeah, all in our club work 24 hours and let the players come back, so Danny Ings, of course, need time, I think, Ben uh, Ben Take it only the same time. <laughs> he will be back next week. We'll see for Kassan or Southampton. I don't know in this moment, but um, yeah, it's be uh, the best situation is when all the players are at hundred percent. It doesn't happen so often. A lot of focus is on attacking, but is the um, a first clean sheet in a while for this team? Is that a very important part as well? This was the first clean sheet for Liverpool this year. No. But no, in a while I said. Uh, ah, away games. Eight games. Eight, eight games. Oh, okay. Okay. Is, how, how important will that be to, to getting results right? Football is a result sport, so we need all the results, but that uh, cannot take, okay, this, there is a, this result I want, and what we have to do is we have to, we have to try to improve. We come together, we have to work together, and we have to do the things better that we want to see. 
and that's what we are doing in this moment. So, but the, as a result, the nil on the right side is okay for sure. And you know, the other side is nice, doesn't give you the same feeling. And, but it's it's not the biggest problem. We should again, nobody asked me, but uh, I know Liverpool did not shoot the most goals in this season. But it's football can be enjoyable and spectacular without goals. If you play like this, if you have good good moments for both teams. But of course, our t our our target is. One day the nil on the right side, on the other side, um, much n another number. But for the, for the moment, okay, we cannot change now. But for the moment, it's absolutely okay. It's more important for development to get to get stable. And I, I saw this. Okay, we need Minule, yeah, very strong day of him. Now he's warm, I would say. Um, um, but um, yeah, we we did it well, and we had a little bit these, uh, and we can. Um, make it better when we play better football. In this moment, defending like this, better better timing and so on, it's always possible. Plus, playing better football, change football completely. And we are able to play better, better football, of course. Today is after three days. It's OK. Can I ask your emotion at the first time as manager in front of the Liverpool fans, the before and after kickoff? What was your...? Yeah, it was cool. Um, I like this, but... It's not important to, to talk too much about me, but of course it's my first my first match as a, as a manager in the Premier League. Then coming with Liverpool to um, White Hart Lane, not the worst place in the world. That's uh, yeah, that's cool. So we we enjoyed it, of course, but we are not here to enjoy. But when the when when the when the start was, when I heard the whistle, yeah. then we're in the game before I had yeah, I tried to look after things I've never seen before. But it's a football stadium and I was in other football stadiums. <laughs> but it's in England. That's cool. But now we are in and now we can work. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot of Divock Origi in a Liverpool shirt really. Um, but you're going to need him now with the injuries that you've suffered. What sort of a player is he and how good can he be here? I want to take him to Dortmund when, he, when, he, when Liverpool bought him. Right. <laughs> But we could not because he get, went to Liverpool and um, on loan to Lille. Yeah. Yeah. Very good player, very young, fast, good technician. <coughs> In this moment, not um, not full of experience in the in the game because he uh, didn't play so often. But we will have fun with this player, I'm sure. Did you try to sign him before Liverpool? Or did you try and loan him from Liverpool? No, no, no. We want, we want uh, in the battle. <laughs> and you lost that one. <laughs> Last one, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just ask you. Um, one of the, the the best things about Liverpool as a city is they stand side by side with Everton in in difficult periods. And Everton uh, uh, have lost their one of their greatest managers today, Howard Kendall, who passed away. I'm sure you echo the, the thoughts of everybody at the club in sending Everton condolences for Howard Kendall passing away today. And it is for sure, but um, it's not so fair after one week to bring me in this situation. I don't know too much enough about about British football or British le legends. There are so many people at Liverpool that can do this much better than me. And only that, I, of course, all best wishes. Or, um, but I have not the right words for things like this. So please, no give me time. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.